If you are the kind of language learner who goes all in at 100%, burns out, recovers, and jumps straight back to going all in again, I made this message just for you. So I was with some friends the other day and we got onto the subject of when was the last time you read for pleasure? And Actually, what we found was that there was a whole group of people with a massive to-be-read pile who for the longest time hadn't granted themselves the time to read, even though they really wanted to, even though they were so excited to dive into their books. Between work and side hustles and family and all the day-to-day -day admin that consumed their time, their own hobbies and their own rest were right at the bottom of the to-do list and the first things to go when life got busy. And this got me thinking because I don't do anywhere near as much fun stuff as I want to either. And although time is a problem sometimes, you know, I am busy, I don't think time is the biggest barrier here for me. I was thinking about this and I realized that I was massively sabotaging my own rest. And I wanted to tell you about this because if this is you too, I think it's high time that we do something about it. So in my case, the reason that I'm not doing the fun stuff is because I am constantly using it as a carrot to dangle for when I've made that big leap or when I've impressed myself. But then the problem is that when I do stumble upon those moments when I've done a really great job and I'm in flow state, it's all coming really easy and naturally and it's amazing. Of course I don't take a break because I'm on a roll. And in being on a roll, I've just moved my target or my goal from super close by where I'm nearly finished to a bit further away because look how well I'm doing. And this doesn't mean that I'm super productive at all times, by the way. It means that when I'm too tired to work, I basically just hang suspended I stare at walls, I do mindless non-hobbies like scrolling social media. I'm in this like weird in-between place where I don't feel like I've earned the fun stuff, but I'm too tired to do any more of the hard stuff. And I'm sitting on the sofa, but I'm not resting because inside my head is just stress or guilt about what I'm not doing. Or, and I don't know whether you do this too, but I take what should be a fun thing, like playing a video game, and I impose a bunch of targets on it to feel like at least I'm still achieving there. And so when do I finally take breaks? Well, when I'm exhausted, when I've got nothing more to give. Breaks are basically sick leave because by that point I'm so tired and I'm so stressed that I must deserve the rest. And people often say that they podcast or teach or study the things that they most need and it is so true. I only realized the extent of this absolutely warped approach to rest that I've been imposing on myself while I was drafting this episode and my goodness, it is a literal disaster. The bottom line is, it just becomes relentless. So this week, if this is you too, how about we make a concerted effort to actually schedule in the fun stuff? Let's make a commitment to ourselves and to each other this week, not only to keep the things that replenish us on our to-do list, but make sure that we bring them to the top and hold ourselves to it.
have an actual time blocked out for the things that we love. Scatter in an hour a week or even some 10 minute pockets of time where we can do some things that make us feel like us again and let that become as much a part of our routine as the language lessons, the homework, the food shop, and all the things that you currently keep in your planner. And if you find that you're meeting some resistance to doing that, remind yourself that actually productivity increases when your life feels more balanced and you've done things that energize you. You don't need to earn rest you already deserve it. And if you would like to share your progress, let me know how you're getting on and let me know what you do to rest after your study sessions are over. Send a comment to me below and tell me what you've been up to. And if you like these videos and they help you, please send them on to other language learners who you think would love some encouragement. It'll help more people to find my work and it'll help me to spread more language courage. I will see you tomorrow.